Little bit shy of that. So Rapanier stays in third as we now switch our attention to the track and the 1500 metres. We're ready now for the men's 1500 metres final. Drawn at one. European under-23 champion from 2017, Germany's Marius Probst will have the inside lane in this nine-man final. And at two is the defending European indoor champion representing... Poland. Lining up in second Marcin place will be the defending European indoor 1500 metres champion, Marcin Lewandowski. Now 32 years of age, the vastly experienced Polish international. The second German in this final, 22-year-old Karl Bebendorf. Now, this man's already won one gold medal yesterday. The 3,000 metres, becoming the youngest ever European indoor champion. Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Well, it would be a phenomenal double, matching the one he got in Berlin if he can add a second goal here in Glasgow. Robbie Fitzgibbon. Finalist in the European Under-20 Championships three years ago. Simon Denisiel, well, better known as a 5,000-metre runner, has dropped down to these championships and made the final. National Indoor Champion for Spain, Jesus Gomez. Jesus Gomez. Well, he's really come through this year to take the national title in Spain. New face on the international scene, although he is 27 years of age. And Philip Sazanik took the bronze at the last European Indoor Championships in 2017. So two Britons, two Germans in this final. Two men we're really paying attention to. The defending champion and the consummate tactical runner, Marcin Lef Lefandowski, and of course this man, this prodigious talent, Jakob Ingebrigtsen, who reduced the world under 20 record under cover to 3.36.02 in Dusseldorf just two weeks ago. In fact, I said it, it was a nine-man final. We did lose as a non-starter. Neil Gourley, the British athlete, the British champion. He's not in this final. So it's down to eight men. From the inside, Prost of Germany. Lewandowski, Poland. Bebendorf, Germany. Ingebrigtsen, Norway. Fitzgibbon, Great Britain. Denisiel, France. Gomez, Spain. And Sazanek, the very good... 22-year-old Czech. Well, it's Probst, noted front runner, and he's decided to take up his familiar position at the front of the echelon. Denisiel on his shoulder, and Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Well, a rather leisurely opening lap and a half. Nobody willing to make the pace. So it's Probs, Denesiel, Ingebrigtsen and Gomez with Marcin Lewandowski in fifth place, tucked on the curb at the moment. It's turning into the usual tactical affair that we so often see at major championship finals. Not sure it's such a good idea because the likes of Lewandowski and Ingebrigtsen have got fantastic finishes, so for the other six men, it might not be the best of tactics if they want to challenge for a medal. Sazanek also a very fast finisher, the Czech back in the penultimate position at the moment. Now Ingebrigtsen just moving up. Oh, 
onto the shoulder of Jesus Gomez, the Spanish champion. Four laps to go, 800 metres. It was interesting there. I mean, as soon as Ingebrigtsen looked as if he was going to make a move, Gomez immediately responded. But having taken the lead, he slowed it a bit. Well, I have to say, with Lewandowski and Ingebrigtsen in this field, I'm a bit surprised that some of the other runners aren't trying to string it out. Particularly Prot, who has a good times to his credit and a good career record in the under-23 ranks. But it's still Gomez in front with three laps to go. 2.21.30 at 900 metres. Still pretty leisurely pace. Now Ingebrigtsen looks as though he's starting to just wind it up slightly. And Lewandowski plays very nicely. He's in third place, just covering those at the front, making sure he's not uh, boxed in. Denis Yell in fourth, Probst in fifth, Sazanak in sixth at the moment. Well, 400 metres to go. Ingebrigtsen swerves round Gomez. Gomez gives him a tap, and now Ingebrigtsen starting to head for home. Lewandowski now working hard in third place. Bit of daylight between the leading three, back to Denisiel. 57 seconds for the last 400, this is different. Well, Ingebrigtsen now coming up to hear the bell. Lewandowski on his shoulder, Lewandowski hits the front. Lewandowski now making his challenge for the gold. Ingebrigtsen now following him. Gomez starting to get detached. Gomez drifting back, still in third place, the Spaniard. This is the battle for the gold medal as they come off the bend for the last time. It's Lewandowski in front, Ingebrigtsen behind him. Has Ingebrigtsen got enough in his legs? No, it's Lewandowski pulling away to defend his title. Marcin Lewandowski takes gold, denies Jakob Ingebrigtsen a historic double, but a terrific race, tactically astute. Marcin Lewandowski defends his title and takes once again the... European indoor 1500 meters crown. A last 400 meters in about 51 seconds, and that was uh, impossible even for Ingebrigtsen to match. Yes, yes well, Ingebrigtsen's made his mark already on these championships, having won the 3000 meters gold. But a little bit more international experience for Martin Lewandowski. He timed his surge for home to perfection and gets rewarded with another gold medal. Ingebrigtsen's only going to get better and better, but at this point, well, Lewandowski came through, swung past Gomez, swung past Ingebrigtsen, 100 metres to go, and he has a terrific turn of speed, Lewandowski. Of course, started his international career at the very highest level at 800 metres and has just moved up distance Still got plenty of speed in his legs. And Ingebrigtsen, with about 15 metres to go, just tosses in the towel and glances behind him. But there's a long way back to Jesus Gomez in third. Well, Poland having a terrific championships. And, of course, if he's fit, he'll be able to defend his title on home soil in Turon in two years' time. 34 years of age then. Confirmation of the times and the results. Marcin Lewandowski defends his title, 342.85. Jakob Ingebrigtsen adds silver to his 3,000 metres gold, 343.23. Jesus Gomez gets another medal for Spain at these championships.